Hey friends, here is your Ask and It Is Given and Daily Direction from Disha, May 7th. If someone is not receiving what they are asking for, it is not because there is a shortage of resources. It can only be that the person holding the desire is out of alignment with their own request. There is no shortage. There is no lack. There is no competition for resources. There is only the allowing or the disallowing of that which you are asking for. So when I read this, this immediately made me think of, many of you might have heard this story. So I wear this necklace and it's got, um, it's a very important necklace to me. My mother gave me an ohm right before I went to college. So I have that. And then when I got married, this is my Minimala and that my husband put on me. And then after we lost our Rhea, I had a, a gold little locket made with her name engraved on it in Bengali. And so I would wear it every day, like every day, every day, every day. And like, oh my gosh, it's probably like a, um, nine years ago now. Um, I lost it. I had, I think I had gone to get like a massage or something and I'd taken it off and put it in my purse and then um, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it, I couldn't find it, I couldn't find it. And I was like frantically looking for it, couldn't find it, where did it go? Maybe somebody stole it. I mean, days went by, I we moved homes, never found it, couldn't find it. I mean, literally, my energy was, oh my God, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? It wasn't, so, so you feel that negative, fearful kind of energy. You know, I can't find it. I can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Who stole it? Who took it? You know, that kind of energy. So I looked for years, nothing. And then finally, I even bought a different necklace. I used to wear a different ohm necklace every day. And I wore that for like three or four years nonstop. And then one day I was sitting at the mall, I remember in Minnesota, and my own necklace, my new one, just whoop, chink, just like fell off of me. And I was like, what's going on? And so I put it back on and then chink, it just like fell off of me again. And I looked at the clasp and the little clasp had like broken and it was gonna be like a lot of money to just get that little gold clasp fixed. And so I went home and I was like, oh man. And I took the locket and the necklace and I just like put it up in my jewelry case. The next day, I was like, oh, I'll have to figure out how to get this fixed later. And the next day I was cleaning out my closet. So mind you, we had moved, totally new house. And I was like, you know, I need to declutter, get rid of some of this stuff and I'm just you know, opening up, I have old purses and stuff. My sister loves giving me purses, I have old purses. And I'm like opening up the zippers and like just dumping things out. There's like old Splenda packets and stuff like that. And then out of the blue, I hear chink. And there it was, this necklace. I was like, oh my God, this is like probably five or six years and a move, and a move, that I found it. And, and here's the thing, I wasn't looking for it. So when we have that energy of looking and yearning, we, what the energy that we're actually putting out there is the energy of lack, and so we don't receive it. So when we drop that energy of lack, like I didn't even think about it anymore. Um, I was just allowing whatever, you know? And voila, I, it was received when I least expected it. And since that time, every single time I've lost something, I always find it every single time, somehow, some way, in the most weird place, every time. So I've learned, if I lose something, it's all right. I know it'll come back to me. Hope that serves. Have fun with it. What have you lost and found? <laughs>